everyone. Today we are going to start a tutorial on Ansys. So let us start from Workbench. Once you open the Workbench, this type of screen will appear. Left side there is a toolbox and right side there is a project schematic and project file view tools units you can select the units from here and inside the toolbox you see one is the ANSYS system and this toolbox consists of five one is ANSYS system second one is component system then custom system and design exploration and ACT so in ANSYS system these are the templates by using these templates we can perform some analysis like uh, rigid dynamics, static accounts, static structure, static thermal in a steady, thermal in electrics and one is the fluent flow, fluent flow, blow modeling so this is the, these are the templates by using these templates we can do the analysis so let us start. So first click on the thermal analysis or static structure. Suppose you start with the static structure, just click the static structure and hold your mouse and drop this into inside this box. Once you drop this steady structure, so static structure as you look here a dialog box is appear. Just write the name here. Static. So these are the number of operations which we have to perform first engineering data. So let's double click on engineering data. Let's see what happened. So once you click on the engineering data, then you see here there is a filter engineering data and engineering data sources. Now you are under engineering data. Here the material you have to select. This is the structural steel this material is selected by default so you can see here the properties of a structural steel like Hessian curve and tensile ill strength compressive ill strength tensile ultimate strength densities and these are the toolbox one is the physical property linear elastics and so on now let's back now this is the geometry and in this geometry, we have to make the 2D model and convert into the 3D. This is the setup. And inside the setup, you just provide the conditions like fix support and the load. Several conditions you applied inside the setup. And this is the solutions we get. And this is the result. So you can find the stresses, strain, and the total displacement according to your condition what condition you applied in the setup so you will get the result for that so this is the overall basic of this workbench so this dialog box itself appears the following operation you have to done one by one first you have to provide the data then geometry then the model then setup then solution and then the result so similarly, you can also perform one another analysis that is the steady state thermal. Again, click on the steady state thermal and hold it and drop it into inside this red box. Again, you see there is engineering data, geometry, model, setup, solution, and the result. So similarly, all these analysis operations have performed. So in this video, that's all. This is the basic. That's all for today about the workbench. So from the next class, we will discuss from the engineering data, then geometry, then how we can mesh the model and setup, then solution, and we get finally the result. Thank you.